Hey guys, Nate here, and today I'm going to be doing another Game Builder Garage Community Game Showcase. First up is Waluigi's Crazy Pinball, and this game is crazy because it is so dang good. I mean, just look at Waluigi moving, the sprite work there, absolutely incredible. It's, it's so smooth, which is crazy how they were able to do that in Game Builder Garage. And this game, it's so fun to play. You go around this pinball course, essentially, and you jump around as Waluigi trying to get to the end of the course, collecting roses along the way, throwing bombs, and dealing with bad guys. It's an amazing game. And it almost feels like, to me, that Waluigi's Pinball, the course from Mario Kart, was actually based off of this game. That's not true at all, but it's so good that it feels kind of like that. And as always, I'm going to be linking the codes to these games down in the comments below. So make sure to go check this one out because it's insanely awesome. Next up is Super Mario Bros. Jungle Isle. And I didn't even think I was looking at a Game Builder Garage game when I first saw this title screen because it looks absolutely amazing. The pixel art here is off the charts good and there's just so much character and personality here and I absolutely love it. Well, the game looks absolutely amazing. The backgrounds is in this game, the characters, the enemies, it all looks great. But on top of that, there's a ton of great gameplay here. And it draws from a lot of different Super Mario games. You've got like the, the power meter up at the top that clearly comes from like Super Mario Galaxy. The overworld is inspired by like Super Mario World. And then you've got like a hammer that probably comes from like Mario and Luigi or Super Paper Mario. The level design in this game is also really good. There's lots of different features and stuff for you to explore. And overall, this is probably just the best looking game builder garage game I've seen so far. Next up is Crash Bendy Doop, and it's clearly inspired by Crash Bandicoot. And this is a really fun little Crash Bandicoot fan game. You go through this game and you run around, you run into the boxes similar to how you do in Crash Bandicoot. The camera makes it really feel like you're playing a Crash Bandicoot style game, like you're running away from this enemy as they're chasing after you. The level design here is a lot of fun, and it really makes me feel like I'm playing like Crash Bandicoot, but in Game Builder Garage. Next up is Bo Peebo Week 1, which is basically another Friday. Friday Night Funkin' game, but it's probably the best Friday Night Funkin' game that I've seen so far within Game Builder Garage. And the reason why I say that is the sprite work here is absolutely incredible. Um, as you actually hit the notes, your character moves and does different things, but they also sing to the music too, which is kind of interesting. It's not great singing, but nonetheless, it's it's pretty interesting to see that within Game Builder Garage. You've also got a power meter and a score that keeps track of things. Overall, it's an amazing Friday Night Funkin' game. Next up, we have Duck Hunt from the Nintendo Entertainment System, and it honestly feels like I'm playing Duck Hunt on my Nintendo Switch, which is crazy because Duck Hunt isn't available on Nintendo Switch Online, so it's a ton of fun to get to play this game within Game Builder Garage. The sprite work makes it really feel like I'm playing Duck Hunt from the NES on my Switch, which is crazy. There's a lot of really good motion controls here that mimic the original game, and it's overall a ton of fun to play, so I really hope you guys check this one out. Next up is Table Tennis Split Screen. Now the reason why I wanted to show you guys this game is because Game Builder Garage doesn't actually have any split screen features built into it. Instead, this creator has kind of found a workaround for creating a split screen game, and it actually does a really good job. Essentially what they've done is made like an arcade version of table tennis that you can get together with a friend and play, and it's actually a ton of fun. I hope you guys go check this one out because it's a really cool creation. Next up is Geometry Wars Devolved. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when the DS and the Wii were around, this game was huge back in the day, and I loved playing it. So to get to see this game on the Nintendo Switch within Game Builder Garages, it's absolutely crazy to see this, and I love playing this game. It's such a good arcade game where you get to go through and just blast these bad guys away and have a lot of fun moving around the screen and essentially playing Geometry Wars on your Nintendo Switch. I love the layout of the game and how they've really captured the essence and the feel of Geometry Wars in Game Builder Garage. So this is an awesome game. And again, I hope you guys really do go check this one out. Next up is Nez's Nightmare. Now this is a really fun little game that essentially is a callback to Earthbound. And it looks really good. The, the sprite work here, the pixel art here, it's again, it's an incredible creation and it blows my mind how much time creators are putting into this game to just make these beautiful looking games within Game Builder Garage. Now in this game, essentially you run around this little town and you fight enemies. Now you use your bat to fight them or you can use your psychic powers to fight them as well. The controls are a little bit difficult at times but nonetheless, this game is just a treat to walk around the overworld and see Earthbound on the Nintendo Switch. I hope this game eventually, well, Earthbound eventually comes to the Nintendo Switch, but in the meantime, this will tide me over. So I hope you guys check this one out.
Next up is Mario 3D World Mount Beanpole. Now, for those of you who have played Super Mario 3D World, you'll look at this level and you'll think to yourselves, Am I playing Super Mario 3D World in Game Builder Garage because this looks dang good. This game really captures the art and the essence of Mount Beanpole from Super Mario 3D World. Now obviously there are a few hiccups here. None of the enemies actually attack you. So it'd be awesome if this creator went through and made enemies that could attack you in the future game. I know they did use a ton of nodons. I think they used all of them to create this game which is absolutely crazy. But they did capture the overall layout of this level and the overall look and feel of it which is absolutely Absolutely incredible that they were able to do this. So I hope you guys check this one out. Last but not least is Donkey Kong Garage. Now essentially this is Donkey Kong Country remade within Game Builder Garage and if you look at that Donkey Kong sprite he looks pretty dang good. It's crazy to me how they've really made him look that good within Game Builder Garage. They probably put a ton of effort into making that Donkey Kong sprite. But one of the things that I absolutely love about this level in particular is not necessarily Donkey Kong sprite, which looks amazing, but it's the music within this game. I've seen a lot of Game Builder Garage games, but a lot of them don't focus on the music. They more focus on the gameplay. But this game has essentially remade the main tune of Donkey Kong Country within Game Builder Garage. And I'll shut up so you guys can actually listen to it because it's incredible what they've done here. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing some Game Builder Garage games from around the community that are absolutely wild, insane, crazy, amazing. They are so fun to play. I hope you guys keep making more of these games. Feel free to leave the codes down in the comments below and I will try to get them featured in an upcoming video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye